Today I'll be showing you guys how to create a Google Form quiz the easiest and the fastest way. And for teachers, this will be a really useful tool. So starting off, let's say I'm a teacher and I'm trying to teach my students about Java. So I went ahead and created a Google Doc where I took all the information from this website about Java for loops. And I have created this Google document that talks about for loops. Now you want to go ahead and download this Google add-on this is one of the best tools for creating this quiz. And once I have finished, I've created this empty Google form. Now I'm going to head over to this puzzle piece and then click here and I'm going to click start. And what's so cool about this is that you can do it in two ways. You can either take the text, copy paste it in here, or you can download it as a PDF, a doc, or even an image and it'll scan it for you and input the text. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and then paste it in here. You can also give it instruction of how you want your quiz to look like. So I'm just going to say, make it with code examples two. So I just gave it extra instructions to include code examples. And then now over here on the right, you can customize of what you want your quiz to look like. So I'm going to make mine multiple choice. You can make a checkbox or a drop down. I'm just going to keep a multiple choice. And I want it to be eight questions four answer choices and then there's only one correct answer and i'm not going to change my model you can make a gpt4 or gpt4 a mini and what's another cool feature is that you can make it into any language you want so you got all the list of all languages in here but i'm going to keep mine in english and in additional settings you can make the answer list an alphabet or the number so it's so you can either be a b c d or one two three four and then you can also add points for each question answered correctly. And once I'm finished setting up, I'm just going to click generate questions. And after some time, it's going to finish generating the questions. And it's, and you can look at this tab right here, result, and it will show all the questions it has generated. And it even includes the correct answer in here. If you want to add a question or change some of the questions, you could just go in here, change this. You can make the correct answer two or four, but I'm just going to keep it like this. And once you are finished, you can just click add questions to form. And then it's just going to say questions created. And once you close out, as you can see, it just added all of the questions into the Google form. Now you can also do it by through a document itself. So over here, I could just head over to download and then download it as a PDF. And once I do that, I'm just going to relaunch this. And this time, instead of actually copy pasting the information, I'm just going to click choose file. And then I'm going to choose the PDF I just downloaded. And then as you can see, it just automatically analyzed the text and copy and pasted it in here. And the same process goes for this. You just customize it over here and then it shows the generated questions in here. And then you can add it to the Google form itself. And it is really easy. And teachers, if you use this, I'm telling you right now, it's going to save you so much time instead of having to manually create your own quiz.